What up dudes, back with another video, and today we're getting into this badass little kit right here. We're going to be making what I call a tech survival kit, alright? And um, I got this idea over there from th this dude named Your Average Consumer, and he had a whole kind of spill on this thing. And um, I recently, I, I picked one up, I kind of made a set and all, but I recently I wanted to redo it all and kind of make it, make it better, make it my own. Make it um, something that I can use on like a daily basis, something that is practical for me, you know what I mean? Let's go ahead, let's get into it. R right right off the bat, let's go ahead and just go over a few things that I'm going to put in this kit. I've really thought this out a lot. And um, let's start off right here. This is this power bank right here is, is the uh, power bank I recently picked up. This thing is going to be amazing to have in this kit, along with this cable right here to be able to charge anything on the go. And um, another thing that I thought was huge right here, this is, this is one of my favorite things in the kit. MX Master Mouse. This is the MX Anywhere Master Mouse right here, the, the smaller version of it. And this little guy right here will literally work on anything. You can use it on the back of your hand, you can use it on your on your knee, literally prop your knee up and use your mouse, whatever you need to do. But this thing is in this kit because over on campus, over at work, wherever you may be, you might have to use a, a computer or whatever, like a community computer, a public computer. And those mouses are disgusting, dude. You literally put your hand on that thing, it's all greasy and shit. I can plug this little bad boy into that computer and be good to go. I can have my own mouse right there. Good feeling wheel, good scrolling, everything like that. This is really nice to have. It's like having your own computer, basically, within your, your little pouch. So I like that. Another thing is, this is a uh, Samsung T1 right here. This is a, just a, you, these things go for anywhere from 250 gigabytes all the way up to like two terabytes. And um, this is just a small one, this is like 250 gigs. And you can just put uh, videos, whatever it may be, transfer stuff off your SD card, you can keep stuff for your school work, whatever, whatever on this thing. And it's all private, it has a locked code on it, everything. So literally you can just take this little plug right here, check this out, plug this into the back of this, and plug that into any USB port. You don't have to mess with any SATA cables or anything like that, just plug that into the USB port and you got all your, your data right there. So that's, that's a really nice option right there. Another thing, Whenever I'm on the go or whatever, I always, I got my laptop with me, I got my phone with me, got the iPad, got the GoPros, got all that stuff, and always find myself needing a USB port, you know what I mean? I, like, I always need a, just a USB port, like an outlet port. And um, I never have one of those little chucks with me, you know, like the little um, Apple chucks or whatever you put in the wall? Never have one of those. So this right here gives me the option to plug in my laptop, I can charge my electric unicycle, I can plug in literally my GoPro, I can have any extra ports over here for whatever I need, and I can charge my power bank off this too. So that's really nice. And this thing's amazing, like literally, the, the swivel feature on mine, like that little button got messed up or whatever, but this thing literally rotates freely like that. I can plug it in, rotate it, whatever, works great. Hadn't messed up on me, I love this thing. Getting over here. All right, check this out. This is old school as shit right here. Y'all are gonna be like, what in the hell? This iPod Nano really comes in clutch. In all honesty, if I'm ever somewhere snowboarding, if I'm ever like, say at school, my phone's dead or something like that, or I don't feel like just messing out, messing with my bulky phone, I got like my favorite songs on here, just a few of my favorite like badass songs to really get me going. I can just plug in my headphones on this and get bumping, you know what I mean? It's kind of like my, like, oh shit, this is just small, I can put it in here. But my phone's ever dead, ever leave anything at home, I got my headphones and source of music. So that's nice. And right here, just got, this came with something or whatever. This is just like a prepackaged whatever USB cable is ready to go right there. Micro USB cable. And then a uh, aux thing right here. So if someone has a Bluetooth speaker or something, or either you're in the car or anything like that, you can plug that in and be listening to your music. And uh, this right here, kind of old school, but this thing is amazing. If you're a college student or anything out there, Back up all your stuff to this. Before you go in, whether you put it on the Dropbox, whether you submit your stuff like via any other Google application like that, but always put it on this and just have this with you in case literally it doesn't go through or something, you have a problem with your printer or something like that, you can pop this in and be like, hey, I got my shit. You know what I mean? And at least show that you're, you, you did it or whatever. It, it, no matter what problems you have. I've had printer problems before. I was able to put this in my teacher's computer and be like, dude, I got it right here. I'll get it to you tomorrow. Everything was good. Another thing, going over here, I love these things. J the Jaybird X2s. Only thing I, w I don't like about them is the battery life. If the battery life lasted like a week on these things, it would be amazing. But the thing is, I charge them up, forget about it, and they literally, I have to charge it off of this thing. Every time I go to use them, it's like I have to end up charging them up. So I mean, I use these whenever they're charged up and I love them, but it's hard to keep these things charged up, I'm gonna be honest with you. 
going over here, I was probably wondering why any hell you got a flashlight in there. Uh, I'm kind of like the whole gearhead over that department too. Like I love like my tactical stuff, love my guns, love my lights, all that, love my knives. And um, having just a little light like this with just different modes, strobe modes and stuff like that is really helpful. Like this thing is super bright. And go and uh, do all different type of stuff. And if I'm ever riding home at night or anything like that and I forget my main light, I can open up this pack and I can be like, all right, I got this. If I ever drop something and I'm out and about, ever need to work on my car, anything like that, I got the light in there. So that's nice to have. But um, everything literally will fit right in here. Y'all can kind of get the... We can, we can, let's go ahead and we can, we can slide some of this stuff in here and see how it fits. We can put that, that battery pack... Actually, I'm going to put this over here. I'm going to do this differently this time. I'm going to put this in the top up here like that. I'm going to go ahead. Let's go and put put these two cables under here like this just see how this all fits in here it's, it's really cool kit I love it and th these things this is this I'm sorry I didn't tell y'all what this was this is a um this Amazon basics this is just an Amazon basics show y'all can pick this thing up this is for nine dollars and like fifty cents and it has all these different compartments on it literally you can put stuff behind here little mess compartments everywhere that little zip pocket right there is a pocket there and that big pocket right there and you can use you can use this for anything under the sun man just imagination run wild but this is what i kind of chose it for uh let's go ahead just pop this stuff in here where we think it should go I redid this whole thing let's check this out let's pop this right here with this bad boy all right now let's take these put these over here Let's put these back here. Actually, let's put these up here with these cables. Keep all the like the white cables and stuff together up here. All the back goes in there. Like that. And this, I usually take this and just clip this on. Like this is so small, you can just take that, clip that on there. And this, zip that bed boy in there. Take these headphones, put them back here. This is Easier or harder to find if someone wanted to steal it. And put this, this compartment right there. And the mouse, I usually take this and I stick it right against here. And whenever I velcro everything down, it just holds that mouse in place right there. And I'll take this light, and stick that behind there as well. Zipper this down. Make sure you keep this thing so hard to keep up with because it, there's no slot on the bottom of that mouse. That's one thing to remember. Keep that in there, but it is Bluetooth, so if you ever lose any of the components or anything, you're, you're good on that fact. And now, let's close her up. And it may, you got a lot of stuff in here, so it may be a little bit bulgy, but whatever. And that's a, like, that, that's a awesome kit right there, guys. Like, literally, if you're ever in a bad situation, this literally fits perfectly in the bottom of the backpack, too. You literally put it in the bottom of the backpack, and you don't know it's there. You literally put your laptop right behind it, and you're good to go. But anyways, dudes, you can put like whatever files, a little extra money, whatever you want to back there. Um, it works great as a camera bag, too. I've used this for my GoPro and everything as well. But anyways, dudes, we just made a fucking badass tech survival kit right there. I mean, that's everything you need in an oh shit situation. You can charge up your phone, charge up your iPad, listen to music, literally transfer data, whatever you need to do. Look, literally, you got light in here, everything, man. But uh, I appreciate y'all watching. I'll see y'all in the next video.